little high. It's doing a little lean. It's even worse. There we go. That's the better. My phone don't vibrate. Good morning. Happy sleep, mas. <laughs> Good morning, happy sleep, mas. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to Moni's Table. I'm your girl, Moni. Before we get into this video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Ugh, gotta readjust. And also hit that little bell that's beside the subscribe button so that you can receive instant notifications of when I upload a new video. Because a lot goes down at the table, so you don't won't miss it if you're new here and this is the first video you you're watching on my channel first of all i like to say welcome to moni's table i am moni and i already said that right i did today is december the 4th so it's sleeve must day four the fourth day of my detox december Whew. yes i'm doing good i'm doing good so on yesterday's video, uh, one of my viewers had asked me a question concerning the vitamins that I take. She stated the vitamins that her doctor prescribed her was disgusting. So um, when she asked the question, I was just like, well, maybe someone else has this question in mind too. So maybe this can help someone else as well. Now, a quick disclaimer, these vitamins are ones that worked for me, okay? I don't know how they're going to do for anybody else, but for me they worked. Uh, when I first had surgery, the vitamins that I was taking are totally different from the vitamins that I take now. Going on 10 months post-op. I will be 10 months post-op on tomorrow, which is the 5th. So I don't take the same amount of vitamins and I don't take the same vitamins that I was taking after um, I had surgery. And two weeks ago, I did have blood work done, and all of my blood work, my vitamin levels came back good, you know. So, it has been working. Ooh, excuse me. That's one thing about VSG. You, you just burp a lot. I don't know. I don't know. The stomach just, like, have a lot of air in it. I don't know. I was on Facebook in one of the gastric sleeve support groups. And I noticed someone had posted that this is what they take. And so it confirmed, and it was working for her too. So it kind of confirmed like, okay, this may be just, this may be enough. My iron was good. My vitamin D, potassium, all of that. Every, every vitamin, every test that they gave me came back good. We know on this VSG journey, you're going to be taking vitamins for the rest of your life. Okay, which you should be taking vitamins anyway, even if you haven't had surgery. Vitamins are just a good supplement to have um, because we don't, a lot of times we don't get enough vitamins in our food. No matter what, no matter if you had surgery, no matter if you're on a weight loss journey and you didn't have surgery, no matter if you've been thin all your life, take vitamins. Like, they're good for you. When I first came out of surgery, I was taking a multivitamin. I was taking um, the Flintstones Chewables. I was taking uh, calcium citrate. I was taking vitamin D3. I was taking um, the two other vitamins, the two other pills that they give, the omeprazole, and it's another one for for gallstones and everything. Either gallstones, I don't know if the omeprazole is for, let me Google it real quick. Omeprazole is to treat um, heartburn and to protect your esophagus and everything from GERD, which is acid reflux and stuff. So that's what the omeprazole was for, to help prevent that. And it's another one that help prevent gallstones. Because we all know you lose weight fast. A lot of times our bodies can develop gallstones. So my doctor had put me on those two uh, medications for six months to prevent those two things from happening. Of course, I'm off those now. 
And currently I've been only taking, I've been only taking my prenatal vitamins and this liquid, liquid D3. I got these both from Rite Aid, which is a local uh, pharmacy. So you probably can find them in any pharmacy. And I do know that Amazon has the liquid uh, vitamins as well. So, but yeah, and these are, I like these because they're quick release and they're soft gel vitamins. So your body is able to absorb more of it. And this is all, this is it. This is all I've been taking. And sometimes I don't even remember this, honestly, you know. Because this has vitamin D in it as well. So sometimes I, I don't even remember to take this, but I try to always remember to take one of these. Um, sometimes I'll take two a day just to give me the extra boost because you, it's hard to overdose on vitamins because what your body doesn't use, it will expel it through your urine. So sometimes I pop two of these. And it actually makes it easier that I don't have to take all those vitamins. Um, I dreaded taking a lot of vitamins. <laughs> Um, but if you're eating right as well, it will help where you don't have to take as many vitamins if you're eating what you're supposed to eat. Um, I was also taking the hair, skin, and nail gummies, but y'all had to be careful on these because I was eating these like fruit snacks, like, and my skin was breaking out because you're supposed to drink a lot of water when you're taking a high dosage of biotin. And then these things have sugar, corn syrup. And all that. And I mean, it's not much. It's only two grams for two gummies. But my sweet tooth, which is what I battle with, these are not good for the sweet tooth because I just be popping them in like like they uh, fruit snacks. So it's not good. Hopefully, this video helps someone. I I'll say try this, and you have to try it for. Like if you you if you have blood work coming up in the future, try it or and or try it for a week to see how you feel. See if you're feeling weak or if you're still if you still have the same amount of energy. These have worked for me. Like work for me. Um, I feel normal, you know. So hopefully this video has helped someone out there to determine like what vitamins they can take what vitamins are good for them again consult your physician okay do your research try it out yourself i'm just it's it worked for me and it's worked for others that i've heard of but you won't know until you try it yourself so that is the end of this video thank you all so much for watching I will see you all tomorrow for Sleep Miss Day 5. And I, it'll be my 10-month post-op. So, yeah. Alright, until we meet again, may God be with you and may heaven smile upon you. Be blessed. Bye. Going on 10 months post op is the way. Am I going on 10 months? Yeah, going on. <laughs> Had to do the calculations. Mm. Take 10. Excuse me. That's one thing about BSG. Like, you burp a lot, okay? <laughs> I say all that to say this. That was just a brief, just a brief history of those of you who, that was just a brief history for you all who may have not experienced any other videos and this may be the first one you watched. My goal by the time I am one month, I mean one month, Lord, 12 years, <laughs> my goal by the time I am <laughs> one year post-op is to hit 199 to be out of the 200s all together and then go on from there so but someone had asked about the vitamins so as i told y'all i gotta do this over